What's up, everybody? Yeah, that look on my face. Oh, by the way, black still don't come off. Uh, what's going on, everybody? It's this today, Thursday. It's Thursday. Uh, the look on my face should say, you know, about what I'm gonna talk about. I was watching a video yesterday, a couple of videos actually. Um, and uh, I wanted to address these situations that's going on in, in, in our black community. Um, we are still playing the, uh, the crayon game, it seems. Um, there are quote unquote prominent black people in our community that are still playing the uh, light skin versus dark skin game. That's the first problem. Second problem is the lack of directed aggression. I guess you could say that. So let's talk about the first thing. This light skin, dark skin thing. Black people seem to be the only race on the planet that believe that light skinned and dark skinned are two different races, some kind of way. Why do I say this? Um, I know y'all gonna probably say, why was you watching that? And he's a stupid fool and all this and that. But I was watching Mr. Tommy Sotomayor video yesterday about uh, an interview that um, Tariq Nasheed did uh, with the Breakfast Club. Don't know what day it was or whatever. Um, but he was talking about uh Tommy was talking about how Tariq keeps his name, Tommy's name, in his mouth um, in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Now, what happened was uh, Charlemagne the God on The Breakfast Club brought up a question that Tommy wanted to ask Tariq or that put it out there or something like that. It, at some time, he had posed this question to Charlemagne the God. And he wanted him to add, pose this question to Tariq if he ever talked to him. So he brought it up. He said, Tariq, I want to ask you this question. It's brought up by Tommy Sotomayor. And he said, well, I don't have time to address Internet trolls and uh, and all of this. And, um, you know, kind of was disrespectful. He's like, respect my Mackin. Um, so Tommy decides to talk about, you know, how he keeps on calling him crispy and, you know, talking about how dark he is and, and all this and that. And, and I've actually heard these words come out of Tariq's mouth and, and um, different video clips that Tommy has put together. And I've heard it from other people saying, you know, uh, saying that he said these things. The reason I say these people because these are supposedly two prominent individuals in the black community at this moment, internet celebrities. Um, obviously, Tariq with his Hidden Colors movies and his uh, macking and his uh, world famous uh, 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 part in, I forget the Michael Moore movie where he ba basically was like, take a pimp to Congress to try to pimp Congress. Just in case y'all didn't know, he was in a Michael Moore movie where he, you know, he, he took on his uh, pimp persona to go pimp Congress, try to get some get some uh, lobbying going on for whatever ignorant reason. Um, they thought it was funny, I guess, but it wasn't funny at all. But anyway, um, but the reason I say that is because we as black people keep on bringing up this light skin, dark skin thing. Um, we use it against ourselves, but then we keep on saying that it's white people's fault and, and all that. It's really ignorant and it's time to stop it. And people who listen to individuals, not saying Tariq or not saying Tommy or not saying Aunt Jemima. I'm just saying individuals that play, play the uh, light skin, dark skin game with black people obviously don't care about black people at all because you are trying still or you're not trying you're actually dividing the race into different uh factions or different uh, uh 
you know, armies. You got the light skinned army versus the dark skinned army. How do we teach our daughters um, who are dark skinned with long hair that they are just as beautiful as a light skinned girl with short hair or with long hair or a dark skinned girl with short hair? The point is that it doesn't matter as long as you're black you you're you're beautiful now obviously we have some ugly individuals i'm i'm one of them like the best looking one in the world so i mean you know i'm, I'm team ugly but anyway uh, <laughs> uh uh the point is that you know we need to stop separating ourselves from ourselves in order for us to get anything close to a semblance of what we want to have as far as unity we have to learn to unite and you cannot unite with half of yourself. It's just that simple. Uh, it's really sad, you know, that we, we, we constantly, constantly do this. Uh, for what reason, I don't know. Um, it makes no sense to us. I mean, you know, we really need to pick our leaders like we pick our noses which is very carefully because, you know, it doesn't make any sense for, you know, people to be, uh, uh, to, to be made to feel bad about their complexion, especially when I'm black and you're black and you talking about me, you're doing the white man's work. Uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about is how we don't have these same internet celebrities or just celebrities or, or political figures in general speaking about white people. Once again, watching another video about Tommy Sotomayor. Now, Tommy Sotomayor says some way outlandish bullshit, you know, that be off in left field. Tariq says some shit, too, so it ain't like I'm picking one side or the other. Um, everybody says things. I mean, I know I say some way out the wall shit. Nobody pays attention to me half the time. But anyway. Um, Tommy did bring up a good point. He was talking about Willie D and how he has a new song out, uh, you know, singing about Coons, talking about Stacey Dash and, and all them, uh, uh, Charles Barkley, you know, all these people are Coons because of everything they say in the media, but they don't go after the white people. Like Tommy said before, you know, hidden colors now somebody correct me if i'm wrong if you're watching this video you correct me if i'm wrong i can't recall a time in hidden colors where um Tariq went after you know uh white people specifically um that are causing the problems he doesn't go against against jews um you know he doesn't go he doesn't speak out about you know uh, the homosexuals that are uh using the black community as a unpaid army to wage war against white supremacy to get what they need, want, and desire, Black, black Lives Matter specifically. Three uh, lesbian black women that are uh, using black people to get arrested for supposed black issues when really their website lays out what their true goals are. But that's neither here nor there. But the biggest thing, like Tommy was saying, you know, he, Willie D was talking about how he would shoot Charles Barkley if he came up and bothered him and whatnot. And uh, you really need to go watch the video so you could get more of a grasp of what he actually said. I'm doing him no justice, but I'm basically trying to paraphrase saying that these people go after black coons, but they don't go after the black coons bosses. Stacey Dash can only do what she does on Fox News because Fox News, which is owned by a white person, allows her to do that. Charles Barkley would only have only has a bully pulpit on TNT talking mad shit about black people and everybody else and whoever else he wants to talk about. Don't talk about white people, though, but he talks about everybody else because they give him a bully pulpit to do that. They the same thing with Stephen A. Smith. He does the same thing on ESPN. Um, he, you know, he, uh, has a bully pulpit also. So what I'm saying is that we're not going after the correct people. If we're going to wage war, we have to wage war against the people that we actually need to be waging war against. 
a foot soldier like Stacy Dash or Charles Barkley or you know whoever mean nothing. The uh, I forget her name, the lady that runs BET. She means nothing because the white man that owns Viacom owns BET. So he could get rid of her in a minute. So if she don't toe the line, she gonna be gone. We need to go after the white man that owns Viacom, not after the black woman that, that has a job at BET. And we need to stop paying attention to the people who actually keep on perpetuating these problems in our race. Like I said, you know, uh, calling black people coons is one thing. I mean, we're addressing the problem, but it's a hidden problem in a way. You know, you can get mad at the drug addict, but you need to get mad at the drug dealer. So those are just some of my thoughts today. Um, we really need to, uh, you know, fix our community. It's, it's really bad. I mean, the whole, you know, colorism thing is really stupid to me. You know, I mean, as long as you're black, I don't really care. You know what what you of black you are as long as you black you got two black parents you black you know you got black children you black i mean that's the bottom line i mean you know we need to stop oh you light skin i'm dark skin you pretty for a dark skin girl or uh, you know you must have some white in you all that bullshit need to stop we it's ridiculous we the only race on the planet that does that shit as much as we do it you know so uh, until the next time, it's our time now.